when you are cooking in front of to the pot and you could get something that is easy for me it's easy the problem is when you manage many things around and you need to be cooking so this yeah they make it complicated but the in essence is that The, the important here in this, in, in, this, in this recipe is the bread, the tomato, and the olive oil. It's nothing else, you know, and is it complicated, you mess it up. But this bread, for this type of bread, was better because they come, in from, uh, they come in soft from Spain, so we toasted a little bit before. Now we have the bread, you can see it, it's a little bit toasted in the top. It's in a, you know, it's crunchy outside, so we take the tomato and we slice in half that way. Okay, you can see all the seeds. Not another way, because they, they, we, you will not have all the contact seeds. So, always that way, never that way. Okay, and now, be carefully, you pass juice in the top. They need to have a tomato, but they don't need to have too much. You know, it's not, no more is better. Okay, it's not here that you put it in a, a layer of tomato. You know, you need to put it, you put some, you see it? You cover all the surface. So important. It's a thin tomato. Yeah, it's, you cover all the parts. So when you eat it, the, you bite a piece, you always you find tomato. So now you put it the olive oil. You need to be uh, generous with the oil. So no, you don't need to be, you know. Yeah. So you can move a little bit. You know, every part they have olive oil. And after. What you do, you finish with salt. Really simple. You see, it's nothing important. We put it, we can cut it in pieces, in small pieces. You serve it with everything with pan con tomate. You know? It's a cheese, pan con tomate. You know, you want to have a a small snack before dinner, we make a pan con tomate with a charcuterie, you know? You can have uh, anything, no? But this is what I say, everyone can do anything. They, they, the important is the idea. The, is the more important. After, you know, changes, small changes is another thing, you know? So, and this is the pan con tomate. So, Let's do what, what we do first. We, we take the, the garlic. So what we do is we we peel the garlic, obviously. So you need to cook it fast, the garlic. You want to roast the garlic. So I see some people say, put it like that, the smash now, and put it in the oil, and after take it out. Uh, but the traditional, what I make it forever, is a slicing uh, the garlic. We need to slice in a nice, thin, but not that thin. They need to be a little bit the thicker you need to make it. Because you make it too thin, when you add it to the garlic, we will burn it so fast. After we have uh, the parsley, the, I recommend using the, the parsley is take it the, only the, the leaf. Something like this will be enough. So the important thing now is, well, I like it. So you take the parsley and you make it like a, you roll it and after you take it. And you want to chop it, but no smash it. No? You want to have a, Parsley. If you don't have a nice uh, knife, get they cut it. You smash it. And you lost the water. And you lost the water. What is the flavor? You want to have a, a clean cut. Even if it's a parsley, you know. Even if it's a parsley, people say, "Well, it's a parsley." You know, you can chop it with the machine. It's not that you have at home or, or with the tool mix. No, I think it, a simple recipe is even more simple. They have um, things you need to make it right. No? Uh, and now we have an, uh, an, uh, an aguindilla. So as we keep it raw, we cook it uh, raw. We don't clean it. I like it, the, the shape, and it's easy after to take it out. So for this recipe, we'll put it three pieces. So here we have this rim. So what we do now, so we will uh, peel and clean. So what we do normal here, so we peel this rim. So we use it this, use it the fingers, and we'd be careful, separate the, the body. 
what we do is you see here, we keep it we keep it the spin we like to keep it that so because after we can take it from here you need it by hand so yeah, some people they take it out so take it from this part you can see it's, it's not touch it to the mid and be carefully push into it with that and separate the, the the shell and always try to keep it the head because the more delicate part is the what is is uh, attached the, the, the skin and the head. So you don't want to separate because if you take it out of the head from there, you will lose all the juices. What I think is the best, best thing in the in the stream, no? So when it's in this part, especially in this part. But here I can see it. You can, I can take it down and then you can put it like this. So now we have a peel, all the rims. See, because you don't want to have these, these legs. So sometimes some people, they fry it and they eat it like a chips. But here we will be really not enjoyable when you eat the heads. So what we do now is with the scissors, we will cut these things. So you can keep it the, the stream clean. It's good if you have a, you pass for flour and you fry it and you eat like a chips. They are really nice. My favorite is in, Bar in, in Spain, in a beach you know, from to the beach in a bar and they serve this to you with a little bit of bread and a really cold beer. Even I'm not drinking, but when I was drinking, I think it was really nice to, with a cold beer in the front of the beach, you know. So now today we take it out these uh, legs, uh, we take it out the, the head. So you don't want to lose the, the, the juices. So you can take it from here, so you take it everything the meat, you will lose all the juices. What we recommend it is cut it and keep it a little bit the meat in the head. Because you after you will suck, you will have the meat. So you will not lose that meat. But they will help you to keep the juices inside the head. Now you cut it from here. You, know, you can see it. This make it the top. So this the juices don't go. So you cut it more closer or you take it out, you will lose the, the juices. No? So we put it all oil. You want an oil, get the you driving the flavors. So the oil take it the flavors, and now the oil have the flavor added. But we are the first the guindilla and the garlic. So because the, you want the oil take it the flavor, no? So you see it, and you want to start from the cold. If you start, if you start from the from the hot. The flavor, the garlic will be colored outside, but not be cooked. You and the, and the oil will not take the flavor. Will be taken. So here you grow it slow, and the oil. And after the trick here, what we'll do today is we take it out the garlic and the guindilla. We put it on the side. After we cook the garlic and we add it, so we can have a perfect cocktail of the garlic and the guindilla. So you move. So you separate all the garlics because they have uh, the slices. Sometimes just keep it together. You see it, we put it a, a quantity of garlic. The garlic start to dancing, we call. You want get the oil, they have the flavor, no? So you now, you toasted the, this, we can take it out, the, the guindilla. I take it out because I don't want to burn it. You see it now, we start to have, we can, you know, we can take it out. When they start to take a color, because you don't want to burn them. And after we can add it again. And now what we do is we add it the, the heads. No? We will add it four, because the pot is a little bit small. You can make it a bigger one. So now what we do, and we put the shrimps. A little bit more for this one. And now we go back to the garlic and the guindilla. And what we do, we shake it everything. So you can put the garlic in the space. Now we cook, cook it the shrimp. Now they have a cooking, a slow, they, they uh, uh, throw the juices. 
Okay. Now what we do is we added some uh, sherry, mofino. And what you want now is evaporate all the alcohol. I will add some uh, uh, lemon zest. They give in a, a fragrance of citrus, so the, the acidity. So and they work really nice with the garlic and the and the fino. And now when the shrimp is cooked, we finish and the alcohol is evaporated. So we added some parsley. So you can cook it a little bit before the finish and you can put it a little bit more in the in the end.